I thought it was about time for me to share my most recent bottle haul with you guys. Do a little channel update, see how things are going. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So I thought I'd begin with a little channel update. Um, we're really uh, running strong here, uh, growing every month. Um, I can't do that without you. Every time you guys like, every time you guys subscribe, you're making this channel possible. Um, you know, the, the, lo the lowest thing you can do is watch the video, but if you do that a little extra and subscribe and, and hit the like button, that is amazing. I also have some great folks who are my channel members. Um, they give a little each month to help the channel run, and we have some perks for that as well. I do a monthly giveaway. We got a fantasy football league and a Discord server, things like that. Eventually, a little bit further down the road, we'll have barrel picks as well. I'm drinking right here a Shank Burger, um, which is a blend of Bomb Burgers and Shanks, and it is really delicious, um, which just kind of like helps segue into my next point of this channel. I really love the innovation stuff. I really like to do like the home blends, the home aging, messing around with stuff. I love my blind flights. I mean, I think those are my two calling cards. So if you're interested in like whiskey innovation, where we're like taking some benchmark foolproof and like putting it under a water heater for six months with like some amberana wood in it just to see what happens. That's the type of stuff we might do around here. I also believe that I am the unofficial official YouTube's king of blinds, not because I'm the best or anything like that, but because I do the most blinds. I love doing blind flights. Well, anyway, that's where we're at with the channel. Still pushing a video every single day for 2023. Uh, loving it. Thank you so much, and I uh, really appreciate all of you. We're going to begin with Nana's Kitchen. So when I was there, I met one of my channel members there for lunch, gave him a blind flight that he won in this month's channel member giveaway. And uh, which, by the way, you don't have to be local for that. That just happened to work out, but I didn't have to pay shipping. Trust me, I've shipped stuff. <laughs> anyway, this one's going to be uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, C923, and I think it's the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in years. So I'm very happy to have this one. Um, I generally only try to buy one of these a year, maybe sometimes one every two years. I really only want to find the best batch and focus on trying to find that one. And that's exactly what I did with this one. Shank burgers, man. If you've never tried something like this wild shank burgers, it's so much fun to like try different things that... Maybe people before you tried and really liked and that's why it, it's made its way around the internet. Uh, next up, Total Wine. So I got three bottles there. First up, you might have already seen a review of this, but it's a Frey Ranch single barrel, 131.8 proof. And uh, I've had a second pour out of this since I did my short roll review, and I like it even more the second time. This is a really good purchase. This is a really good bottle. I used a coupon. They had a coupon active for the moment at Total Wine. So I got it like 10% off. So it was under a hundred bucks. And um, yeah, I think that for under a hundred dollars, this is a buy all day. I think these are really comparable to Four Roses single barrel barrel proofs. So if you like those, you might like these. Uh, you know, I know that's a legacy distillery versus something out in Nevada doing things, you know, grain to glass. And you know, some of their stuff might be a little funkier than than uh, than than what Four Roses is doing. But Four Roses for a legacy Kentucky distillery is a little funky too at times. So next up, they finally have Penelope in Arizona. So I grabbed the Penelope Architect Build Five, or I'm sorry, Build Seven. And I like these because they are French oak, and I really like French oak bourbon. I have not loved everything I've tasted out of Penelope. I think some of their stuff is kind of just young MGP with a little bit of trickery thrown into it, but I really dig the Architect series because I like French oak. And last up, I won the, the lottery for uh, the fall lottery, and I got a Russell's Reserve 13. And this is the same batch that I already have right here. So the batch is at the bottom and, and it's a it's a code system. So mine says L L L E 10 13 13. And this one says L L L E 10 16 17. So these are from the same batch, which is not that big of a deal because I love this batch. So if I end up um you know, if I end up keeping this, great, I got a backup. But I, it also could be a good trade piece. Um, this might be something I could trade for a stack junior or something else that I might want down the road. More likely than not, I'm going to keep it because it's for it's Russell's Reserve 13 and they're hard to come by. This is the first one I've gotten at retail. I had to trade for my other two bottles. So, 
So why did I put it away already? Why did I put it away already? Anyway, drinking buddies, if you have shanks and bomb burgers at home, do a little equal parts and a Glencairn, let it sit for about 20 minutes and you'll be pleasantly surprised. This is a candy bar all day. A little of a peach cobbler thing going on. I don't know what it is. I love it. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm your drinking buddy.